Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Hyo. Like you know that he is the new meta chainer, and yeah, you will learn soon why he is called that. And as a double hand chainer, let's compare him to Skull and Nalu because both of them are also a chainer. Okay, so like you can see that for the attack stats, Hyo is same like Skull. He gets 203 attack. And for the attack boost, on the maximum setup, he gets 140% attack boost, which is higher than Skull and Nalu. But for Hyo, you need to equip Great Sword to achieve that 110%, and you need to equip his Trustmaster to get that extra 30% from his Hyo clothes. Okay, so pretty good attack stats. It's already better than Skull, but. Like you can see that Hyo doesn't have any defense boost which make him kind of fragile, okay? Also his spirit is lower than Skull, but that's probably not that important if you have a powerful AoE physical or magical tank. So far so good, but the true thing that make him good is he has triple cast instead of dual cast I mean dual ability so he can chain three times unlike Skull and Nalu Skull only able to use two skills per one turn and Nalu only able to use one so that already make Hyo much much better than those two but for true double hand Hyo only get 100% true double hand which is lower than Skull so on this department he probably not the best and he has 5% MP regen per turn. It's standard number, but like you know that Hyo skills use a lot of MP. So little extra 5% MP is useful. And if you remember, Skull doesn't have any MP regen. But the main weakness of Hyo is he doesn't have any ailments to assist. That's probably pretty dangerous, okay? You if you equip Reborn, then that means you will lose one accessory slot to boost your attack and that's kind of annoying, right? He also able to counter the enemy attack, enemy physical and magical attack with Merciless Blade, okay? It enable triple blade for one turn. So even he can use triple blade, it is not available on Oh, every turn so you need to use some skills to activate this so this counter is useful if you haven't get the access to your triple blade okay but let's say you already use your cooldown ability then this counter is useless and yeah the rest is probably only damage modifier which I will talk on the ability section selfless state it gives you 100% attack boost for three turns if you equip his Trustmaster reward. Why that is good? Okay, that is good because if you activate that skill, that means you don't need attack buff. 100% is pretty big. I know that Illusion is not Microsoft Nicole can buff your attackers by 120 or 130%, but 100% is already pretty high, so you don't need to cast buff for him. Okay, so on the beginning of the turn, you can prioritize your defense instead of attack. So pretty good, unlike other characters who, who only has maybe about 50%, 30% buff. This 100% really, really big, so very useful. I think that's all you need to know about his stats. Let's take a look on his abilities. So first thing that is good about his abilities is he able to chain with Define Renation Family skill tree. So the first ability, he he has four in total, okay? The first is Flame, the second is Voltage Blade. So those two deal 3.5 times physical damage and imperil 60% fire and thunder resist to one enemy for three turns. Yeah, I know the damage may be not that good because yeah, if I remember correctly, let's say you have enhanced Orlando, he deal about maybe five to six times, I don't remember. But that's higher than 3.5 times, so the damage is not that high. But still, you want to use this 
on the early stage of the battle because it imperil fire and thunder resist especially if you equip elemental weapon on him the second skill and this is the probably the new thing on the game okay servant of the blade so this skill unlike other chaining skills which is on the game because it only deal half to one times damage on the first six hits which is pretty lame but on the last hit the damage jump into 3.6 to 4. Point, yeah 4.6 okay so that's pretty big jump okay so basically he chain and finish it by himself that's what make him really different but yeah i think the best define ruination family skill tree that he has is phantom of the blade so it deals 2.8 times with ignore defense which means it deals 5.6 times and yeah those damage are for the first six hits on the last hits it deal another 5.6 times so basically this skill also chain and finish by itself pretty good but the best feature of this is maybe yeah the fire and lightning imperil it imperil 100% for those elements so you will double your damage and even it and if you think those are not enough he can also chain with onion knight okay so he has a skill which chainable with onion slice but if you enhance your onion like onion slice then maybe it will fail but even without that i think this skill is bad okay because onion slice is really hard to chain in my opinion so i think it's not worthy maybe better to stick with the fire ruination family skill tree because those are his main main strength but those skills are not amazing if he doesn't have triple blade so this triple blade is what makes him so deadly so far we only have w ability for a physical attackers but so this triple blade is really really new for the global physical attackers okay so yeah triple blade is not available on every turn like i have mentioned before on the beginning you can activate it from merciless state the counter but that's probably unreliable so the best way to use triple blade is by using way of the void way of the void will enable triple blade for two turns which is quite long okay and yeah the best thing about this way of the void is it also increase your attack by 200 percent so that's insanely high okay it is far higher than microsoft nicole buff okay so pretty good and it also recover your health by 100% but yeah that have health restore maybe not that useful because i wish it is mp restore instead of health but that will make you really really op other than way of the void you can also activate it using improved stance but it only enable triple blade for one turn so yeah it is kind of wasting but maybe useful if you want to pass the enemy's threshold attack by using triple blade so this skill available on his six stars form so this really make Hyo strong okay even on the seven stars form maybe he is the strongest not the strongest okay. the only triple triple chainer on the uh six stars class so pretty good even on his six stars his lb extreme nova is also very good because it has multiple hits 30 hits and from what i know it is it may be not perfect chain with other lb but if you have cg sakura awakened rain you can kind of chain in the middle so yeah pretty good the damage deal is also very in height okay 19 times damage so yeah like you know he is a double hand character so he doesn't get handicapped by using lb unlike dual wield because dual wield attacker kind of lose one attack because they equip two weapon and use two abilities when dual wield but for double hand character lb is not something 
that is worse than your abilities. So pretty good. Too bad he doesn't have faster LB fill gauge. So you may have to wait quite long before you're able to use this LB, but it gives you some room to breathe because his triple blade and servant of the blade and way of the I forgot the phantom of the blade use a lot of MP. So really his MP is really really fragile in the battle. I hope you have MP battery if you use Hyo in the battle. Enough about abilities, now let's talk about his equipment. So for his equipment, like you know that he is a true double hand attacker. Too bad that right now, there, is, there are no elemental two-handed greatsword. So I think it is better to use Flaming Blade Agni Tonitrus for him to take the advantage from the elemental imperil because yeah he can imperil 100% fire and thunder resist so that's kind of a waste if you don't utilize that for hat you can use priest hairpin if you have priest but remember there's also a budget option bombarders bicorn for body armor there's no other choice okay heal clothes is the best for him you can also get it from him so no reason if you get him Use your trust Mughal to get his trust master reward as soon as possible. So for true double hand setup, you can equip Martial Glove and Buster Style and Swift Hunter. Those three items and abilities will make your hero has 300% true double hand. So very good. The rest simply boost his attack. But if you don't have that true double hand equipment, you can use Killian's Scarf. And yeah, Killian Scarf is veteran equipment. So if you don't have it, you can ex exchange it using Hyo Gloves. And because you are using one hand weapon to utilize the Elemental Imperial, that means double hand can work for him too. And if you, by some way, you are unlucky or maybe lucky by getting four Dark Nexus Seal, use his Super Trust Master Reward on Hyo. It is very good for Hyo. If you use one hand weapon, it gives you 100% fake double hand and 30% attack if I remember correctly. Yeah, very good ability for Hyo. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about his equipment. My conclusion for Hyo. So he will become a meta chainer, meta, meta attacker, okay, for a long time. You know, I can say he is probably kind of future proof okay so far from what i know the character who's gonna surpass him a lot is akstar i know that many of you can say randy maybe senator's collaboration if that come to the global okay i doubt it because we have still haven't got valkyrie profile but yeah let's see about that later so Akstar is still about 7 or 8 months away, so he is very powerful attacker and will surpass Hyo. But until that time comes, he will become very very strong. So yeah, I have said this multiple times on my previous video. Hyo is kind of like Orlando when he came to the global for the first time. Everyone will use him. And actually, this will become one of his real advantage. Okay, so just like this, okay, because everyone used him as a leader, you won't have any problem to find a chaining partner for trial. That way, that will make you really, really strong. So let's say Adam Jensen, okay, Adam Jensen is really good character. I really like him, but really right now, everyone, every my friends who has used him before as a leader, after he came, they ditch Adam Jensen immediately. I went. I want to say, okay, Adam Jensen is very good. His Typhoon Explosion, if chained correctly, it can deal really, really big damage. But yeah, I cannot chain with Adam Jensen because I don't have two stars, two seven stars Adam Jensen. So that make Adam Jensen a broken in some way, I think. But for Hyo, his triple blade. Oh my god, that's really powerful and because you can find chaining partner, whoa, very very easy to kill the trial bosses. 
so it's kind of like self-fulfilling prophecy okay maybe yeah i know he is powerful but he is not that powerful if you don't have a chaining partner for him that's what i want to say his triple blade is powerful but let's say if your friend if all of your friend using orlando that means his triple blade is kind of wasted because double blade is enough to chain with divine ruination you got it right and for his trust master it is also good because it is the best cloud for attackers i mean yeah on the trust master class because there is a higher cloud with on the stmr class his stmr is good it, it is the strongest one hand great sword but i think that's not needed okay so if you have four hyo then i think it's better to create two seven stars hyo so you can have a cheating partner and don't rely on your friend okay now for his weakness i think his main weakness is his mp so triple blade will use lots of mp let's say you use servant of the blade one servant of blade costs 52 mp so three servant of the blade means 156 and before that you using y of the void which use 90 mp or something i forget okay so that means 250 mp so without good mp battery here kind of broken so I hope you have good MP battery on your party if you use Hyo. And yeah, I have said this before, he doesn't have any ailments resist. So yeah, that may be a problem for him. And yeah, no two-handed great sword with element like I have said, his equipment choice. And yeah, it forced him to use one hand weapon. So it's kind of strange, okay? He, he learns through double hand, but probably cannot use it to the fullest unless you are okay with non-elemental damage but on the future there will be a character who able to imbue him with element actually right now there's a character who able to do that for example dash dash able to imbue him with lightning element so lightning is one of the best element for Hyo. so yeah maybe if you if you really want to use two-handed non-elemental Great sword on Hyo, you can bring dash on your party. But later, seven stars blossom sage Sakura also able to imbue a character with lightning element. So you are really lucky if you have C2 CG Sakura at this moment. So in the end, I give him the over 9000 out of 10. So the new meta has begun. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about Hyo. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Brave Guys. Bye bye guys.